Welcome to Moodle video series. In this particular video, we will be doing the site administration of Moodle. If you have missed the installation video, you can click the card above and I have provided the link in the description also. Now we'll be talking about the site administration of Moodle. Okay, here we are with Moodle. You can simply log in with your admin login and password. You'll be landing to this particular page. Site administration as an admin is available to me here. In site administration, I'll be explaining all these tabs one by one. So first of all, we'll be going to notification and you will see what notification options are available. We'll see here that it asks whether you want to check for the updates. Today is 2nd April or on 1st April, it has already checked for the updates. So I can click here and it will check the updates if any updates are available right now. Now it has mentioned that enable the PHP settings display errors. In your PHP settings, you need to disable the PHP error when you are running Moodle on the production environment. So what Crone is doing, Crone job is in fact a scheduling system that will run various scripts at different intervals. So you need to make sure that the Crone works automatically. For example, if there is any notification that goes by email to the users or if there is any forum post and you want to get the notification by email, so that won't work until you enable Crone job. This is available in your admin uh, CLI and crone.php. So that script should be enabled. And then if you want to register your website with Moodle, this website is not for the production environment. So I'll not be registering it right now. Moodle services, if you click on Moodle services, there are various services which Moodle is providing to you. One is that if you want to have the branded app from Moodle, so you can use that also. Otherwise, free app will give access to 50 devices to offline courses. Online courses will remain definitely there. A multimedia push notifications are not available. QR login is not available. Some of the features are not available, but still it is good to go with a free plan as well. Pro will give you 500 active devices. Premium will give you unlimited active devices. There is a branded feature also available. So what this branded app does, so you can replace the logo with your own organization, your institute, your training uh, center or coaching center. So this can be done using the branded service. In feedback setting, if you want to give any feedback, so you can advanced features. So these are the advanced features that if you want to enable the comments, if you want to enable tags, if you want to enable notes. So these are the default settings that I'll keep as it is. Now the site information, so is it face to face, blended and hybrid or fully online? So, uh, most of the institutes today are online and offline. Blended mode of education is there. So blended or hybrid, I will be choosing. So I'll be choosing the type of institute as corporate training. So it can be for academics, it can be for tra uh, training institutes, it can be for the non-profit organizations. So I'll be using for corporate training. This is the option that I'll be choosing for my particular installation. So in analytics, so you don't need to make any changes. If you have any analytics models previously in your installation, you can import that. Competencies is nothing but the level of skills which your students or the learners are going to acquire. So you can enable this competency. So by default, it is enabled and push course rating for the individual learners are also available. So if you are creating any learning path for your staff or your students, so you can define that over here. So I have created detailed video on this so you can see that badge issued by, for example, it can be your institute name, badge issuer, the issuer email address, and then the badge hash, it will automatically create manage badges. So there is no badge right now. I'll create a new badge here. If you see here, this is the badge that I have created right now. Whom you are going to assign this badge? This is related to competencies. Is this related to profile completion? Is this related to award badges? Or is this for completing a specific set of courses or manual issued by the role? For course completion, so I need to, of course, define the courses first and then it can be configured here. The options for the HTML5 uh, rich content is enabled. You can import that content here in the form of zip file or in the form of H5P format. H5P specific video is also available. You can use all rights reserved. Training Institute location or your corporate location so you can enable it. Language setting and language customization can be done from here. If you are selling your courses online so you can choose the payment accounts. IP blocker or if you want to enable specific IP addresses you can add them into allowed list and those which are blocked so you can add them into block list. Then the mobile app setting, if you want to enable the mobile app setting by default, it is enabled, the service is enabled. If you have the mobile app policy URL, so you can mention that URL from here as well. Then we'll be talking about users. In the user sections, first of all, we will be talking about accounts, permissions, privacy and policies. So in accounts, you can of course add the, add the user, you can modify the user, 
user list so you can see there are two users that i have created here and here is bulk user action for example i have chosen my name so you can see there's these two users have come here choose these two users post with control so what you are going to do you download or send the message or force password change so these are the operations that you can do if you want to add a new user you can give a user name test user and then manual account if you click on generate password then you cannot enter the password here otherwise i can do it here and assign the password and other information and then simply update the profile picture and create the user and there are various other options like upload users upload user pictures so here is the example.csv file you can check it this example.csv file it will have the user first name last name and email address so these are the fields which are required and then you can import them into your Moodle platform from here so this is the way you can create all these users so if you see the user policies so you can see the default group policies for the visitors is guest the moment users are registered so they are authenticated users this is default settings you don't need to change anything so you can see various roles are there right now there are two roles manager and course creator none of the user is assigned to these roles so if i click here i can assign this particular user for example once you add the manager role it will be available to all the pages and all the courses then site administrator this is the main administrator and this is the potential user so if i want to add this as an administrator i'll click this and add it so it will go to left side and this will be added as a site administrator so you can add multiple users for the site administration now we'll be going to define roles so there are various roles which are already defined for example if i want to create another role which will be the manager role head of department role and what this role can do so these are the default roles which are assigned to him for example i will not assign him a role as a student so in user administration there are various permissions that you can assign as i have already shown you here so you can go through various options here then the privacy policies you can have the pri privacy settings here i have provided a detailed video of this in courses section you can manage existing courses you can add courses you can add the category of courses you can delete the courses i have shown you that in a detailed video so grades grades will definitely help you for the competency management passing criteria grade uh, allocation can also be done here so letters i'll be just showing you here this was a and this was a minus in your installation it will be like this so like this you can have your naming clusters by yourself so this is how the grading system works plugins and these are the plugins you can make the changes into this plugin from here admin tool related plugins are here and then the antivirus plugin is also here courses bank plugins are here so these are various plugins you can explore these plugins by yourself whenever i'll get time i'll be uploading a specific video related to all the useful plugins in appearance you can change the look and feel of the website these two themes i have enabled here if you have missed the video that how to install the theme i have provided the link in the description below so these are all the server settings server related settings and you can see the path of the moodle and all this information so php information is available here if you are an it support administrator so you need to make sure that you are aware of all these options related to server related to task and important section in the server side is the task and then the scheduled tasks for example if uh, you have the ldap connection and you want to make sure that the user information gets synchronized with your ldap server so you can enable that first of all you need to have ldap plugin so once the ldap plugin is installed authentication is configured after that you can make the changes here so that the user authentication or user list gets automatically populated from your ldap server of course your it administrator can do that web services means the integration with your external systems so complete documentation and codes are available here so you can simply choose any of the integration that you want to do and then finally we will be talking about reports related to the server configuration and related to the system setting all the reports are available here in development option you can do the debugging if you want to test the web services you can do that then the purge cache if you are upgrading your server and you want to migrate database into another server so you can just click on database migration choose the type of database here is the type of uh, database server and then the host name and user id password and simply you can transfer the data so it will be transferring from your existing installation to the new installation so this was all about the site administration of course i could not cover each and every aspect of site administration in this particular video but for more insights watch the related video before you go click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and avoid missing any latest videos